can't believe it's already time for Relativity Fest London. I know, it's mad. We've had all this time working together as MCs in the lead up to Fest, and we're finally about to take the main stage. We've got such amazing chemistry, especially considering we've never met in person. Right? Should we get a drink before the big show? We can finally meet. That sounds good, but this sounds a bit silly, but what if things are just different when we meet in person? Who knows? I do feel like I become a different person on camera though. I did not expect to enjoy corporate acting on Zoom the way I have. <laughs> Will we even be able to recognize each other? <laughs> Goodness, Karima, it is you! Huh. Huh. Wow. I mean, you, you look so different out of Zoom. I mean, you look great. You just oh. look different. Well, I don't know. I mean, people have said that I've really blossomed in front of the camera. Maybe that's what you're sensing. Maybe I just... Uh, there's just something different. I can't put my finger on it. It's... Like, like, how can I be sure it's really you, Nisreen? Well, how can I be sure it's really you, Karima? Mm. I think there's only one way to find out. Security, Security questions. questions. Oh, you mean the ones that we made when we became MCs just in case on the day of the big show someone tried to impersonate us? Mm-hmm. The very same. Okay. Mm. What was the name of my first pet? Ooh. Uh, oh, a corgi named Princess Puff, but you always called her Prince. What street did I grow up on? Mm -hmm. Cato Road, of course. Oh, Lord, you are good. Whoever you are. I'm telling you, Nizreen, it's me, Karima. Now we've got a show to host, we've got to go. Oh, yes! Hey, wait a second. What's my middle name? You don't have one. Oh my goodness, it is you! Cheers! Cheers. Ah. Oh, but we got to go, we oh, really got... Yes! See Doo -doo. ya! All right, ready for this Niz... Nizreen? Did you do something different with your hair? You look um, like a brand new person. Ah, oh, thank you. I do feel brand new. Must be the new Zoom filters. Well, I'm... Um... Sorry for interrupting. Karima, it's just... When I look at you, I feel like I'm looking in a mirror. Has anyone ever said that to you before? Actually, no, but thank you. Shall, Shall we, we get, get on with it? Eh? Wow. Crew, we need to get going. The show is about to start. Oh, oh yes. Okay. Josh, are we ready to go? Um, I am rolling. And we are recording in three, two. Hello to our EMEA community. And welcome to Relativity Fest London. Enjoy, Enjoy the, the show. show. Thanks, Nizreen and Karima. You've done such a great job in getting us all ready for Relativity Fest London. And thank you to all of you who've taken time out of your schedule to join us today. Relativity Fest London is always an exciting time. And this time more than ever, as it's our largest event to date with more than 2,000 registered attendees coming from over 45 countries. I'm inspired by how together as a community, we continue to move forward to advance our mission to organize data, discover the truth, and act on it. The momentum in Relativity One has been incredible. Since 2020, we've more than doubled the total number of customers and the amount of data flowing through our system. And here in EMEA, it's pretty clear that you have been busy since this time last year at Fest London, you've grown the data in Relativity One by 98%, and we are routinely hitting all-time highs on the number of users in this system. And as part of our sustained commitment to supporting you where you work around the world, I'm happy to report that we've also added four new data centers in the last 12 months. We've added Germany and Switzerland, 
Singapore, and South Korea, so that we're now supporting you in 11 regions around the world. Expanding access to Relativity One is a key area of focus for us. As the global nature of business, remote work, and other factors drives an increased need for you to operate around the world, launching new data centers is our way of ensuring that you're set up for success and that you can grow with your clients. One partner in particular is taking great advantage of this, and that's BDO. With a presence in more than 160 countries and territories, global availability is crucial to BDO's e-discovery strategy. Recently, they leveraged a new data center in Germany to cement BDO Germany as the hub of their EMEA operations. I'm going to turn it over to Karima and the BDO team to tell us more. Karima, take it away. Hello, my name is Karima Campbell. I'm one of the first London MCs and the manager of the EMEA customer success management team at Relativity. Today, I'm joined by some of the members of one of our global advisory partners, BDO. Joining me today, we have Jenna Ira Ventrella, Managing Director of eDiscovery in BDO, based in Los Angeles. Hello, Fest London, greetings from across the pond. We have Stefan Edler, who's a Senior Manager of Forensic Risk and Compliance for BDO Germany. Hey, Relativity Fest London. And Thomas Dahl, who's the Director of Compliance and Investigations for BDO Norway. Hey, Relativity Fest London. Thank you all for joining me today. So mm -hmm. can you please tell me about BDO's global e-discovery strategy and what the role of technology is in this effort? So over the last five years, we strategically focused on the expansion of our services to support and align with our global clients, both from our geographic per footprint as well as parity across our toolkits and our solutions. It's really important to have parity across your different toolkits when you're working with your clients trying to solve complex issues for them, whether it be a cross-border litigation, a complex investigation in multiple geographic locations, or a data privacy breach, which is not occurring just in one location, but in multiple countries. So Relativity One has helped us afford our clients that platform, that parity across the platform, so we have the same user experience, that same client experience, so, Stefan, going over to you in Germany, what are some of the main reasons BDO Germany adopted Relativity One? While based in Germany, we have clients across the globe. For our team in EMEA, we needed a solution that was flexible and scalable and empowered us to handle especially investigations on a moment's notice. With investigations, acting fast is crucial for our clients. With Relativity One, we are processing and hosting data in a secure platform that gives us the boost when we hit the pedal to the metal. Another big win is that we get to collaborate more with our other member firms, including Thomas here in Norway. Something to note as well, we are utilizing client domains to enable the hub and spoke model that allows for the autonomy that different member firms are looking for, but also allows collaboration when additional assistance is needed. So, Thomas, can you describe the benefits of adopting Relativity One for your operations in Norway and your collaborations with Stefan and his team to date? Since we started our offering our local Relativity solution in 20, back in 2014, uh, we have experienced a major growth in the demand of e-discovery technology, review capabilities and expertise. Uh, so together with BDO Germany, we are now currently sharing our Relativity One instance. So, so this has been uh, vital for us as we have yielded major sav cost savings too. Uh, by sharing an instance, we have occurred uh, nearly 60,000 US dollars in cost savings by consolidating our instances. Uh, that has been important for us to increase our, our market footprints in, in the Nordics. So working with Thomas is great. So we did not meet in person at all. Um, but still, we have kind of that, that steady red telephone uh, where, we, where we catch up um, on projects um, and also like the, the legal stuff that's behind the hub and spoke model. And that's, that's also really something I appreciate on that hub and spoke model, um, bringing the team together on the continent and on a global level. Can you share why Germany was selected to be the hub over your other locations and what this model allows? 
as Germany is known to have probably the strictest data privacy regulations in Europe or even on a global level, it was crucial to have the shared instance hosted in the Microsoft Azure data center in Germany to provide the highest possible level of data privacy and security to the member firms and our ultimate end clients. BDO is a global advisory practice, so having that standardization across our firms is important when working on international projects. Jenna, Thomas, Stefan, I thoroughly enjoyed chatting with you all today. Thank you for joining. Thanks for having us. Bye-bye. Have a nice one. BDO and Karima, thank you so much for sharing that. It's a fantastic story, and we're very, very grateful for your business and support. As Relativity continues to expand globally, we're committed to driving our EMEA presence forward, with Switzerland and Germany being key areas of focus for us. The DOC region is the second largest e-discovery, compliance, and investigations market in EMEA, and it's driven primarily by the large and highly regulated companies in the financial services, automotive, and pharmaceutical industries. And while we've had a presence here for some time, our recent commitment to put a team in Germany is there to support you and your customers with the local language and market knowledge that you need. One of the critical factors in our success has always been our relationship with the service provider community. And we are deeply grateful for the partnership we have with so many of you. These partners serve as strategic advisors to their clients, helping them to optimize their processes, to increase their efficiencies, and really tackle tricky problems. In EMEA in particular, we've made great strides in delivering better outcomes for our mutual customers by partnering closely with our service providers. And in fact, in 2021, we've already doubled the number of co-sold deals that we've worked on with our service providers over the prior year. A great example of this partnership is with KPMG UK. We've joined forces with KPMG UK to work with the post office to advance its e-discovery practices by more efficiently handling large matters and reducing risk. To tell us a little bit more about that, I'm gonna turn it over to Nizreen, KPMG, and the post office. Hello everyone, I'm Nizreen Nemi. I lead Relativity's existing business in EMEA, and I am one of your Relativity Fest MCs. I'm excited today to be talking to Magnus Becher and Simon Oldman about their recent move to Relativity One. Magnus is the director of eDiscovery at KPMG UK, and Simon Oldman is IT director for Historical Matters and Horizon at the Post Office. Welcome to both of you. Magnus, let's start with you. Tell me about KPMG and how you use Relativity One to handle your clients' matters across the globe. KPMG has provided e-disclosure services in the UK for the last 30 years. Together with our US firm, we are one of the two most mature e-discovery practices globally. Relativity One has provided us with a global and secure platform to deliver these matters, and we have multiple jurisdictions live in Relativity One, so we're really benefiting. Thank you, Magnus. Simon, over to you. Can you tell me about the post office unique needs to e-discovery and what you are looking for in a technology platform? Yeah, so our priorities ensure that we fully meet our data obligations and we establish trust and fairness in how we respond to all the parties involved in our litigation. So we rely on KPMG to provide the post office with top quality service, uh, enable with the best technology. Um, what was really helpful for us at post office was having access to KPMG's e-discovery experts. That's good context, Simon, thank you. Magnus, back to you. Who were some of the key players involved in this client relationship from KPMG to the post office to Relativity? The post office being fully government owned had a number of onerous security requirements that only very few firms in the world can adhere to, like client managed keys in Relativity One. In KPMG's forensic technology and cyber teams, we've always focused on having a large pool of security cleared staff members. KPMG's end-to-end -end cybersecurity posture and detailed information management put Relativity One through rigorous security testing. The thoroughness of our approach convinced the post office and gave them confidence into the robustness of the security risk testing and the integrity of their litigation data. The Relativity team made it really easy. They were very responsive to any sales and security requests that the team had. And the security demonstration of Relativity One provided great confidence to the client. Thank you, Magnus. That is always nice to hear. Final question for both of you, and I'll start with you, Magnus. What excites you about working with the post office using Relativity? 
Relative D1 with its end-to-end -end platform shows the direction of travel when having to future-proof an investigation and e-discovery function. The product ensures that our clients, like the post office, can efficiently handle large litigations from a cost and risk perspective. Um, Simon, what about you? What excites you about the future with KPMG and Relativity? Yeah, for me, the Relativity platform just gives me that flexibility that I needed. So bringing together those disparate data sets into a single platform that I know I've got space to grow and use in different ways. That's the bit that really excites me about using this platform and working with KPMG. Simon, Magnus, thank you very much for joining me. It's been great talking to you. Yeah, it's been great talking to you too, Nazreen. Thanks very much. See you soon. A big thank you to our partners at KPMG UK. Thank you so much. And the post office, we really value your business. We also look to partner with our community to help us advance matters of inclusion, diversity, and belonging. At Relativity Fest Chicago last year, I announced an expansion to our social impact efforts with the Justice for Change program, a program that takes advantage of the unique talents and skills in our Relativity ecosystem. With this program, we pledged 100 terabytes of Relativity One to support racial justice initiatives around the world. Customers or organizations who are interested in being part of this program can apply. And if you don't have access to Relativity One or the skills to use it, we can help pair you with a law firm or a service provider that does. And if you're working at a law firm and a service provider and you'd like to be part of this program, we'd love your help. You can email us at socialimpact@relativity.com to get on board. You can also dive into topics around inclusion, diversity, belonging, and wellness in our new IDB and wellness track. There's some fantastic sessions to be had where you can learn things about your allyship, how to attract and retain a great and diverse workforce, and how to talk about some of the tricky issues around mental health and wellness at work. We'd encourage you to participate. As we can all see by tuning to the news on a regular basis, the world continues to accelerate at a pace that is sometimes incredible. Whether it's the trends in technology, the changes to the way we work, or how we communicate digitally, one thing is clear, and that is we are moving forward fast. These changes impact what you need from us in the product today and tomorrow. We take the role of being your technology partner incredibly seriously, and we are very grateful that you trust us with that responsibility. And now, to show you where we're headed and to share with you that no matter what the world throws at us, we are here to help you be ready to organize data, discover the truth, and act on it. Chris, take it away. Hello, and thanks again for joining us for Fest London 2021. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Chris Brown, and I'm the Chief Product Officer here at Relativity. I'm super glad to be able to connect with everyone in our community in the UK, across Europe, and around the world. Right here from the comfort of my home office, and trusty Zoom room in Elmhurst, Illinois. I'll be your virtual guide for the rest of our keynote as we walk through the significant trends transforming our times, our behavior, our product, and the vital work each of you do every day in our industry. Now it's no secret that life today is vastly different than it was just 12 months ago. Technology trends that have been on the rise since the turn of this century have now hit warp speed in the blink of an eye. How soon is now, you might ask. You can see the evidence in how we live, how we work, and how we communicate with each other. As Bob Dylan once sang, the times, they are a-changing. And with these change in times comes a significant change in the shape of data. What started with the digitization of paper in the 1990s and gave way to emails and office documents in the aughts followed by text and instant messages in the last decade, has now massively fragmented into hundreds of different conversational and multimodal message types, including streaming audio, video, chat, and more. On top of that, there are significant shape of data complexifiers in the industries we serve. Expanding metadata, cross-channel communications that reference structured data sets, multiple jurisdictional matters, multiple languages, time zones, and currencies, evolving privacy legislation, assertive regulatory environments, and last but not least, there are now 3,521 unique Unicode emojis, used a whopping 5 billion times per day on Facebook, let alone every other platform in the world and in my own Heard in the Field Slack channel at Relativity. 
even this interactive conference itself, including all the video, audio, chat, interactions, reactions, emoji, and so on, is discoverable. In the very near future, you could easily be dragging this video of me into Relativity One, transcribing and translating my speech on the fly, analyzing my voice for sentiment, and using computer vision AI to find clues in my surroundings, like this castle on the hill behind me. It's enough to give you vertigo, but don't give up. With Relativity One, Trace, and our best-in-class SaaS solutions, you can be heroes. Not only do we anticipate this change in the shape of data coming, but we've been actively investing in next-generation legal and compliance capabilities to power the discovery of truth in these data sets in the years ahead. And behind the scenes, we've also been steadfastly investing in our state-of-the-art cloud platform to raise the bar on quality, performance, scale, and speed of innovation in our industry so you can continue to count on a streamlined, secure, and simply powerful experience anywhere in the world. Now, as my team and I come together to walk you through our product strategy, I need you to take note of two special things that will help you own it during this session. First, because there's so much exciting product innovation we want to cover, we've created an additional product keynote tomorrow at 9 a.m. to show you even more. And second, we've created a very meta music challenge to play across both sessions where you can demonstrate your superior investigative e-discovery and monitoring prowess, and win bragging rights over your colleagues. In fact, you may not be consciously aware of this, but your subconscious mind has already started playing. Welcome to the machine. Here's a scoop. If you've been watching and listening intently so far, you may have noticed I dropped a few subtle song references as I've been speaking. With a little help from my friends in product, we have embedded clues to some of the greatest musical hits that have burst out of London, the UK, and Ireland over the past 75 years. Why? It's our way of saying thank you to each of you from half the world away, while we share more about our product strategy, our plans for the future, and so much more. Consider it our London calling. And to keep all the scientists in the room motivated, whoever can discover and alert on every hidden work song reference across both keynotes will win the lasting admiration of your peers and may even be able to inspire our own London rock star and managing director of EMEA, Steve Cooling, to give you a guitar serenade at your next executive business review. But I must warn you, this will not be easy. Feel free to take notes as we go. Once tomorrow's keynote is over, take the quiz linked on the session page so you can see how you did. We'll also release a Spotify playlist featuring all of the songs for you to enjoy. Now back to the product. To ensure our community thrives as the shape of data changes, we have anchored our investments in the following four product areas. To deliver a secure, extensible cloud platform, enable you with a simply powerful user experience, amplify your efforts with advanced AI for e-discovery and compliance, and continue to provide the strongest end-to-end -end product in the industry. Each area has a host of new developments that will streamline our customers' most important workflows. Whether you're a service provider advising on data subject access requests, a law firm running document review for opposing counsel, or a corporation running compliance investigations. As I walk you through these product updates, let's picture an investigation in Relativity One. In today's investigations, the vital information you need to discover the truth and act on is often found in what could be considered the biggest catalyst for changing the shape of data in our industry, Microsoft Teams. As I'm sure most folks here know, Microsoft positions Teams as the one app that can do it all, chat, meet, call, and collaborate, while being seamlessly integrated across Office 365. Last March, they had reported a 40% increase in Teams usage, up to 44 million daily active users. By the end of November, Microsoft reported that number had skyrocketed like a rocket man to 115 million. Now with over 500,000 organizations using Teams in some capacity, many of us in the industry are dealing with it every day. 
For those reasons and more, I'm happy to report that Relativity One Collect will enable you to run targeted and defensible collections from teams starting in the third quarter this year. Work is already well underway, and this expands upon our capabilities to collect from Outlook, OneDrive, Slack, and Google Workspace, which is in advanced access. Customers like Control Risks are showing love and affection for Collect already, as it helps them easily and securely gather critical data. But that's not all. As I said at the top, the shape of data is changing, and being able to seamlessly ingest, natively review, analyze, and produce the latest forms of collaboration data is paramount in our industry. That's why in early January, we announced the acquisition of VerQ, a data management software company that helps organizations migrate and capture communication data for retention and compliance purposes. With VerQ on board, we're accelerating our ability to collect from a rich array of cloud data sources, targeting 15 by the end of the year and over 50 in the years ahead, including platforms like Zoom and Bloomberg, as well as archives like Proofpoint and Enterprise Vault. Of course, once the data is ingested, you need to process it to expertly power downstream search, AI, and review. This is happening already to the tune of nearly 150 terabytes a month in Relativity One and growing rapidly. I'm thrilled to report that on top of a number of improvements to performance and availability, we have some major advancements coming to processing this year that will make the entire experience more flexible, fast, reliable, and intuitive. But to find out what they are, you'll have to tune into tomorrow's keynote. The good thing is, you will also be able to learn about all of our other advancements across the platform, including Security Center, a new management console, search, automated workflows, and so much more. Sweet dreams until then. With data collected and processed, we are ready to dig into our investigation and review. Here, you can see a team's conversation displayed in Relativity One as vividly as you would see it in the native application. This viewing experience is critical for practitioners to effectively understand the context and nuances in a conversation. And with short message data diversifying and growing 5x in relativity in the last 12 months alone, that's a lot of conversations to review. To help you more easily cut to the chase in any of these conversations, we added filtering options last year and are now enhancing the experience to include read receipts and directions based on custodian, more mobile metadata, in a streamlined experience when interacting with our short message format throughout the platform. Most importantly though, we will make it far easier for you to produce short message data later this year. With a feature called short message slicing, customers will be able to drill into the participants, timeframe, or individual messages that are most relevant and then select only a subset of those messages for production. Now, just as short messages have rapidly increased and become central to review, demand for sophisticated redaction capabilities is on the rise due to evolving privacy regulations and the need to accelerate speed to production. A 2020 research report showed that businesses in the UK spend on average 1.6 million pounds in 14 person years annually processing data subject access requests alone. For these reasons and more, we were thrilled to launch Relativity One Redact, the world's most comprehensive automated redaction solution, back in March of this year. Redact helps you get back to black by putting automated native and image redactions at your fingertips, enabling you to seamlessly cut time and costs out of reviews, easily find and redact PII, and reduce human error. We've also fully embedded Redact within our Arrow UI, streamlined it for the lightning fast performance and scale, and made it available at no additional cost for Relativity One customers. Simply powerful. Immediate adoption has been unbelievable. In just a few weeks, customers around the globe created nearly 40 million redactions and highlights and are just getting started. If you're not already using Redact, experience it for yourself with a hands-on exercise available during this conference. As I mentioned, data volumes are skyrocketing and growing more complex. 
In fact, IDC projects data to grow 5x by 2025, all while you're under pressure to solve an ever-widening array of challenges, from GDPR and data breaches to complicated mergers and elusive bad actors. Speed is also critical. Longer investigations and litigation mean more time and cost, while inefficient communication alerts can lead to more corporate risk. For those reasons and many more, leveraging advanced AI and machine learning is essential to expertly cull your data, prioritize review, and help you deeply understand important issues, people, and connections. Now I'm excited to have Elise Tropiano, Group Product Manager for AI, and Peter Haller, Group Product Manager for Relativity Trace, join us to share more about how we are innovating across our AI and machine learning toolset to streamline investigations, e-discovery, and compliance monitoring practices. Thanks, Chris. So to enable you to leverage AI everywhere, we are investing in making our AI and machine learning capabilities first accessible, meaning easy to manage for your administrators, transparent and simple to end users, and explainable to stakeholders. Second, comprehensive. Comprehensive in supporting analysis on all of the disparate data sources that are now relevant, all at massive scale. And then last, invaluable in delivering efficiency and gleaning insights that would be impossible to achieve with human efforts alone, all with full predictability and defensibility. Now I'm going to take a few minutes to talk about accessible AI. And foundationally, that means that all of your indexes, models, and workflows are automatically set up. And I'm excited to report that we started realizing that vision this year in Relativity 1. Now in Relativity 1, all structured analytics actions are now automated. That means that when data enters a workspace, emails are threaded, languages are identified, communication patterns are normalized, so that when you go to work every day, you can go to your desk and start your review in less time without any manual intervention. And in just a few months of being released, we have thousands of structured analytics workflows now being automatically run, saving administrators tens of thousands of clicks hours of time, and proneness to user error. And we've only scratched the surface. Later this year, we'll automate conceptual analytics and active learning, culminating to this new user experience where you create a new workspace, data enters, emails are threaded, visualizations are confronting end users, and active learning is ready to go with one click. And if you're new to our capabilities, no problem. We'll make all of our AI-based automated workflows available in our Relativity One case templates. And going forward, automated setup is just part of our definition of done, so that by default, our AI is just simply on for all future capabilities. Now, accessible AI also means readily available. And I'm now going to take a few minutes to talk about our upcoming machine translation capabilities targeting release later this year. With these capabilities, you no longer have to linger during your review waiting for translated text. Instead, you can translate documents on the fly as powered by Microsoft's latest cognitive services. And it's really easy. Locate those documents you need to translate, choose the language, and machine translation does its magic, converting reams of babble to the language of your choice. Reviewers go to review that document, and they can see the translated text next to the original in a rich viewer experience, just like the native document. And they're experiencing translated PowerPoints, emails, short message data, all in their original context, avoiding any missing clues. And to bring it full circle, you can then take that translated text, run additional AI, all as powered by our newest automated workflows. So as data volumes grow and the shape of data changes, AI will be essential for e-discovery, investigations, and compliance. Don't miss tomorrow's keynote where we'll dive deeper into what's coming in this space. Until then, I'll hand it over to Peter to talk about AI and Relativity Trace. Thanks, Elise. As Chris mentioned, AI is essential for compliance teams to be more effective in their role. It reduces noise, spots changing behaviors that you didn't even know you should be looking for, and provides context on the intent behind an action so you can understand the complete story. Without AI, compliance teams find only what they know to look for, understand just what's directly in front of them, and waste time on irrelevant content. Trace introduces AI in a way that's accessible. A robust and ever-growing suite of AI capabilities are entirely automated throughout our product, within our ingestion pipeline, 
data normalization process, and on alerts that are already queued up for review. And this means that you get the riskiest alerts surfaced to your team across email, chat, audio, and collaboration data without having to think about all the narrow problems we're solving along the way with advanced technology. Today, we're accelerating the speed at which we bring this value to compliance teams by delivering pre-built machine learning models that remove irrelevant content, classify communications, and pinpoint risk on day one of an implementation. These models continue to learn in the background based on alert and review decisions, but come with knowledge gained from enforcement cases, industry peers, and compliance specialists. We witnessed just recently our pre-built spam and newsletter models reduce alert volumes by 12% within one week of implementation. And although models like these are analyzing communications in the background, the accuracy of each model is fully transparent to the compliance team. And this is done through ongoing validation tests that are calculating precision and recall so the decisions that are made can easily be defended during an audit or a regulatory inquiry. These accuracy calculations also define the maturity of each individual model, which changes the influence its decisions have on the overall risks and controls within your organization. So you can lean on machine learning when you and your business is ready and you're convinced of the value that it adds. We're continuing to invest in our library of pre-built machine learning models. But comprehensiveness is more than just quantity. It's defined by the breadth of data that can be used as an input in decision making. This means extending past just communication data, consuming other types of structured data that elevates our overall understanding. I'm excited to announce today three new features that exploit structured enterprise data to create new insights and cover operational risk more holistically. First is control room surveillance, which integrates with restricted lists, insider lists, gray lists, watch lists, wall crossing lists, all managed by your control room team, and uses that data to automatically alert on breaches of these defined information barriers, or the inappropriate sharing of material non-public information, or violations of trading restrictions. And by correlating this auxiliary data, compliance teams can expose new risks without the added overhead. Second is trade reconstruction, which integrates trade data from your OMS or your transaction capture system or your trade surveillance system and automatically links trades to the related communications. And by bringing together this structured trade data with this unstructured communication data, compliance teams can now respond faster and with more confidence to trade reconstruction requests. And finally, dynamic rules. These new rules are entirely extendable and can be integrated with any structured data, whether it's coming from your CRM system, your time and expense system, your HR system, an in-house tool, or just a flat Excel file to automatically alert on communications that are related to events in these external systems. Dynamic rules open the door for the entire community to use comprehensive data and AI to alert on risk in an organization. Now, data is growing, and the problems are widening. But keep your head up, because Relativity One and Relativity Trace bring accessible, comprehensive, and valuable AI to deliver the insights necessary for you to find the signal in the noise. Thanks, Peter and Elise. Now that we've explored the latest innovations in collect, processing, short messages, redact, AI, ML, and trace, I want to spend some time on the investments we are making to enhance our state-of-the-art extensible cloud platform. In particular, we have some exciting product updates that will further expand access to Relativity One to new regions while also offering more flexible commercial options, strengthen security and our ability to prevent, detect, and respond to threats, and improve productivity for admins, users, and the system at large. As Mike mentioned, global availability is a key benefit of Relativity One, and our investments in new regions are the direct result of your input and collaboration. I am pleased to share that 
in the third quarter of this year, Relativity One will be available in two additional Azure data center regions, Ireland and the UAE, expanding the total to 13 regions around the globe. We've also lowered the cost of entry by more than 40% for each new region you want to spin up. And as the global nature of the work in our industry increases, so too does the need for secure and productive collaboration between the thousands of enterprises, outside counsel, service providers, and government agencies that use Relativity One. Here to share more about our newest development in this area are Sarmad Kutub, Group Product Manager of Platform, and Liz Schaup, Senior Product Marketing Manager at Relativity. Collaboration is critical for our roles to be successful, and as Chris mentioned, collaboration is key to yours as well. In fact, eDiscovery thrives on collaboration to solve the world's most complex legal challenges. And those challenges aren't always concentrated in a single enterprise. They can spread across multiple organizations and can require expertise from a variety of subject matter experts. Making our ability to work together even more difficult, not to mention the security risks of working with teams outside your organization without the proper protocol in place. But Relativity One is more than just a platform to help solve these challenges you can plug into a global community of experts, the Relativity ecosystem, to overcome them. In the past, this wasn't as simple as it could have been. Just think of all the different logins to multiple instances that you need to juggle. That slows you down. And sharing data across collaborators gets less secure. Not anymore. We're thrilled to enable our community with Relativity One Connect to more easily work across organizations and leverage the expertise you need. Connect enables collaboration across the Relativity community by allowing you to use a single identity to access any Relativity One workspace or instance at no additional cost. With Connect, we're taking collaboration across Relativity's ecosystem of partners, firms, and corporations to the next level. So, let's say your teams are working on a matter here in the UK, but you'd want to be leveraging the expertise of Ava, an expert in employment law located in the Netherlands. With Relativity One Connect, you can easily plug into the Relativity One ecosystem and enable a connected user for Ava to provide the input and guidance your teams need. This also means if you're a service provider, you can provide consulting or managed review to a corporation or law firm without requiring them to pay for additional seats. Or if you're a corporation or law firm, you can use the seats you already licensed to access our global network of Relativity One partners. Now, Relativity One identities can travel with individuals. So no matter where they're providing legal expertise or supporting matters, even new locations or instances, your teams are working as securely as possible. Relativity One Connect makes it easy to enable collaboration across organizations. Now your teams can partner with experts to get their jobs done, and you can take your enterprise collaboration to ecosystem collaboration. We've covered a lot. The changing shape of data from collection through review, the importance of privacy and AI, new regional data centers, and the benefits of moving from enterprise collaboration to ecosystem collaboration around the globe. And while I've been showing you how this works in Relativity One, nothing brings it back to life more powerfully than the work you, our customers, are doing every day. One such customer is UNITAD, a division of the United Nations that is investigating war crimes committed in Syria. To tell us more about this work, I'd like to bring back Steve Cooling and welcome Kareem Khan from the United Nations. Hello and welcome. My name is Steve Cooling. I lead Relativity's business in EMEA. I'm delighted today to be joined by Kareem Khan, QC of the United Nations. Kareem, thanks for joining us. Uh, it's wonderful to be, to be present, Steve, so thanks for the invitation. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, can I ask you just to kind of kick off with just more of an introduction to yourself, your background and the role that you're doing at United Nations? I am the Special Advisor and Head of UNITAD. Uh, UNITAD is the United Nations investigative team that was set up by the Security Council to investigate the crimes committed by ISIS, uh, Daesh. So our job is to collect evidence, to analyze it, to conduct independent investigations and to build cases against those that are most responsible for the crimes that were committed. Super powerful role within the UN and it's, it, it's admirable work that the team are doing. 
Um, just to kind of relate it to, to what we do. So re relativity, our mission is to organize data, discover the, the truth and act on it. Could you just talk a little bit around the mission at UNITAD and just how Relativity One and other technologies help you pursue that mission? Well, I think there's a coincidence of, of values because any investigation, any trial process worth its salt has to get to the truth. And one of the phenomena of the mass atrocities that are the hallmark of international crimes, genocide, crimes against humanity and war crimes, um, and they're the, the crimes that we are investigating, uh, are typified by mass data sets. We realized early on that with the budgetary constraints, the amount of resources that we would get um, would be, whatever we would get, would be insufficient to um, scale the mountain of evidence that confronted, that confronted us. Now, one of the ways of leveling the playing field is the use of technology. Now, how important and what is the role that you see AI and analytics engines like Relativity One and machine learning playing in supporting kind of the mission? We have a whole variety of information that is not only text-based, uh, it's, uh, as I said, video, it's, it's voice, it's photographs, it's all this other material. And technology clearly has an important part to play in whittling that down and making that more you know, accessible so that when we have our targeted searches, we use technology, we use artificial intelligence as effectively as possible to get information, pull it out of the drawers and put it on the table of the investigators and the analysts so we can actually assess uh, relevance and probative value as part of the cases that we're building. How important is kind of cyber or cloud security to the unit admission? Well, it's, it's critical. I mean, the first obligation of any competent investigator, any competent lawyer, um, in fact, any actor in this area is to do no harm. And it's a massive, and I would say even a sacred trust, that when individuals, whether they are survivors, uh, family members, whether they're insiders, anybody who comes to you with the truth that gives you an account, um, they do so in confidence. And we have a, a non-derogable obligation to ensure that the information they provide is kept secure, is kept confidential, until such time as it may be presented to a court of law, and then the court can decide its uh, classification status. So it's something that we were very cognizant of and we made uh, proper inquiries to ensure that we were fully satisfied. So the, the final words I want to leave you with and the final thought is an important one. Each of you, each and every one of you has a critical and an important role to play in the joint quest for justice and accountability. Kareem, I want to thank you for your time today. It's been an absolute honor talking with you. Your career, your mission, the team, the amazing work that they're doing out in the field is kind of a true inspiration to all of our community. So from me, Relativity, and the community that's listening today, uh, again, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Thank you, Stephen Kareem. For all of you who are interested, Kareem's organization has launched an online guide with the intent of helping others learn how to harness technology and innovation in international criminal investigations. It's so inspiring to think about what this community can do when we work together. Whether it's partnering with UNITAD, investing deeply in pro bono work, advancing IDB efforts, supporting justice for change, or a thousand other examples, you continue to propel our industry forward like superheroes into an exciting future. With that, I'd like to thank each of you for taking time out of your day to learn more about the latest developments at Relativity. We've made great progress together in 2021, and we genuinely appreciate your collaboration along the way. As a reminder, we are not done yet. Please join us for tomorrow's keynote, as well as all other sessions, where we will dive deeper into what's next across our product and our industry. Have a great Fest London. What a way to kick off day one of Relativity Fest London. We know you're getting used to the platform and may have some questions, but we're here to give you a hand. 
head over to our help desk, armed by our events team, who are there to assist you in having your best Relativity Fest yet. Also, let us know how we're doing. After every session you attend, you can complete a session survey. But enough from me, go and enjoy the platform.